Welcome back to Menorca, located in the Balearic Islands in Spain. We hope you enjoy coming along with us as we explore more of this stunning island in this week's episode. Jason just came back from a spearfish and Nala, it must smell fishy, this glove. <laughs> she's grabbed it and she's like trying to drag it and take it somewhere. <laughs> You can't eat that, darling. Oh, <laughs> where are you gonna take it? You gonna take it inside? <laughs> She's carrying a baby kitten. Where are you taking it? Bit heavy, dolls. You're not taking that on the bed. All right, we're going to test out the new Smacko air compressor. This is uh, first time ever using it, so hopefully it works all right. These guys here are probably like, why the f did I let these guys park next to us? It's pretty loud. off to check out the little town around the corner in the next anchorage which is like another beach that's quite narrow like this um, get a few little groceries not much but um yeah check it out one of the many reasons we wanted a powerful outboard and hard bottom tender was so we could do things like this It gives us the freedom to anchor in more protected or secluded bays away from civilization and travel by tender when we need supplies or simply want to check out a busier town. You ready for the stairs, huh? Sure. <laughs> we'll see. How nice are these palm trees? Seem to have palm trees every here. So I came here earlier, so I know these stairs. How far do you reckon we're up? I was like, oh, this is fine, but my legs are already hurting and I'm like, oh. They're like this awkward. I don't know, they're like one and a half stairs. They really work the quad. Oh, you have five, sorry. Probably a good thing. All right, we're probably a quarter of the way, not even. Really? Yeah. No way. Just keeps going. A little bit of a break. Breather. <laughs> You're getting your sweat on too. You're making me more pass by like filming me and me thinking I've got to talk. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> the best thing about it is Ooh. you get a pretty amazing view. So beautiful. Look at that. How cool. Would you look at that? The beach kind of reminds me of like three or something. Bit of grace going on there. Well, this, it kind of does remind me of Grace a little bit, Spain. Well, there's a white, I guess there's kind of white houses, but they've got orange. Just better infrastructure. I love Spain so much. Yeah, it's good. Love it. We've made it. Oh, we found snacks. <laughs> I haven't had these since Australia, and they're delicious. So, so good. Anyway. Small supermarkets suck. We didn't even buy that much. We spent like 45 euro. 42. That's 
why we like little. Tonight. Over at Belvedere, made some chicken for it, bring in a few other things, got me some sangria because when in Spain, and also goes good with Mexican because when in Mexico. And uh, some lemon like Radler things, mm. which are delicious, which I shouldn't have over the laptop right here. No. <laughs> Taco <laughs> night! <laughs> with our buddies. So Jeff and Jamie on this boat have uh on Belvedere. They nice enough to put us dinner. Yeah, we had dinner at your guys's on the other night. Spoiled. Alright, you ready to go, darling? Where's the cats? You girls ready to go? You ready to go? Wanna go exploring? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, talking to you too. You ready to go? Hey, you ready to go? Where do you want to go? Alright, let's do it. Has been an amazing anchorage here. Feels like we've been at a posh marina. We're off, homies. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, what well, you got, old mate, over there? <laughs> What's me? Okay, you, what? Old you've, mate. That's, you've got... like, that's an odd thing to say. Oh, got old mate. You don't know their name, you got old mate over there. Old mate. <laughs> oh, that one tag. Very light conditions today. We've got six knots on a 120 to a 100. Um, and we're not quite heading to our destination. We're a little bit out. Um, so we will have to tack in, I guess. We try to go a bit more in and it's just, the swell's just really uncomfortable. So we'll You're have this. You're kind of settling though, do you reckon? As we're getting mm, further away from maybe. the land. Building up near the land. But what we'll try and do, we'll hold this course and then maybe go wing on wing once we get to a certain yeah, section. Then we'll be like fully downwind when we come in. Yeah, and we should ride the swell pretty nicely. Yeah. Ah, oh, darling. That's good. What do you reckon of this place? Made it to paradise. It's busy. We only just nabbed the spot and we kind of had to like throw ourselves in. But look at the bloody water. Oh my god, I could just stay here forever. We're pretty road pricks. We've passed pretty close to this cat here. but yeah, We had no choice. It's like you can get in quite a bit of trouble for parking in the sea grot or dock anchoring, dropping anchor in the seagrass here. And we also don't hold well, so we don't do it anyway. Um, so yeah, we kind of had to come in here. And also we had to tuck in because over there, the swell's coming in and yeah, we've had to these, tuck behind this land. These two boats are just getting slammed. You can see them rolling, not slammed, but they're rolling. It look very nice over there either. It looks really seagrassy. It doesn't have the nice clear water. We're in a good spot. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure like some of these boats will hopefully leave later. We'll have a bit more space. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Let's have lunch, eh? Yeah, sounds good. And a swim. Yeah, even better. Refreshing. Oh. 
if I came here on a holiday and I just rented a boat for a day, I'd be so stoked. I'd be like, F how good is this place? I tell everyone to come here. You know? All right, we came here thinking we could sail, had absolutely no fuel. So now, because, yeah, we sailed for half of it, but we actually have no fuel. We've probably got maybe half an hour. So there's a fuel station two and a half miles away, nautical miles. So gonna go on the tender, we got nice calm conditions. Go get some motherfucking fuel. You know what I mean, hun? Okay. All right. See you, darling. Should really check to see if I've got enough fuel in here. Yep, half a tank, we're good. I've done that before and literally ran out of fuel. First time start. Oh yeah. Janae's told me that if I make it back, I can get breakfast. If you, if you make it back? Yeah. No, he was trying to tell me what time to make it so that when he arrives, breakfast is waiting for him. <laughs> But I'm making poached eggs on toast, and if he's like two minutes late, they're like ruined. They cook too much, or it goes cold, the toast goes soggy. So, yeah, All right. wait till he gets back. 11.50, bye! Bye! Eww. Pretty calm conditions. Really nice swell at the moment. Hopefully it doesn't change on the way back. Made it! Hopefully they're open. So shallow. Very cool. Fuel station and marina is finished for the season. Like completely done. F me. We're just gonna go have a little walk on the beach is like a nice pathway that goes along there we haven't actually gone like gotten off the boat hey since we've been here so you haven't what did you do oh you went well, for a swim oh I and you've also yeah you tried to get fuel. fuel no success yeah anyway we're gonna go have a little walk around check it out might have a swim quickly and then we'll get moving to the we're, next spot we haven't actually told you guys i don't think but our inverter's blown too so yeah, after it came back alive, like a month after it died the first time, it has died again, and we're assuming it's died for good this time. So we've been dealing with, we're just using the portable power station, the Bluetti, um, which gives us just what we need, um, but during the night it doesn't last. So no. we have to be careful with power at the moment, and we can't use everything as normal, I guess. So. Not ideal, but uh, we've got to wait till we get to mainland Spain to... Get a new inverter. Yeah, they won't send it here, unfortunately. So, a couple more weeks and we'll pick up a new inverter, which will be exciting. So, when we were in Olbia, they had a decathlon, which is really good for buying, like, cheap kind of sailing gear and outdoor stuff. Um, so, if you don't want to spend anything crazy to buy the really good sailing gear, you can use their hiking gear. Anyway, I found some water shoes that are only, like, 7 or 8 euro. And I've never had any, so I'm going to test them out over there. All right, you ready? Yep. Look at that water. Water, eh? So we're on a mission to find. Janae reckons there's bunkers here somewhere. So we've got no maps. We should find it, fingers crossed. There's a lot of naked people everywhere. If you um, like naked people, you like this island.
Menorca is home to a network of bunkers built during the Spanish Civil War and World War II. Alright, we've made it to the bunker. It's all closed off, someone's closed it off. Yeah, I don't want to go near it, it's creepy. <laughs> So we've got water. Uh -huh. These bunkers were constructed to protect the island from potential attacks and served as lookout points for monitoring the surrounding seas. The bunkers are scattered across the island with some located along the coast and others inland. Many of them are accessible to the public and offer panoramic views of the island's rugged coastline and turquoise waters. I guess we're just going to have to get moving with the feel we've got and just hope for the best. It's only about an hour away, but the anchorage we're going to is very tight, so and we've got a stern two in there, so that's the bit I'm worried about if we run out of fuel there. But I guess we've got our tender, we'll figure it out. That's it, eh? We're leaving this beautiful water here. I've been staying here for like a week, and the conditions are like incredible. Prime, right absolutely prime, no but wind. Our package that we were waiting for is about to arrive in Mahon, hopefully by Friday. And we've still got a few places to see around the island, so we're going to get moving, despite wanting to half stay and not knowing what to do. We've got to cross an ocean at the end of the year, so we've... Apparently, we've got Jason says. smack through it. See, I would just choose to just soak in this beauty and just slow down a bit. But... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. You ready? Don't tell me what to do. Okay, let's go. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, let's go. All right, let's not go. No, no, let's go, let's go. Come on. We've managed to get the sails up. I know we're not going fast, but if we can maintain, see if we've got, it says we've got zero knots right now, but we're going 2.9 knots. And then once we turn, we'll do a jibe round to the other side and we should be going a bit faster because we're on a better angle to the wind, hopefully. So we're on a 100 at the moment. And then when we turn, we should be on like a 60 or an 80. So we should be moving. Fingers crossed. Look at this beautiful lighthouse. It's like the prettiest lighthouse I think I've ever seen. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like a little town right next to it. Yeah. Oh, and the north is just beautiful, so huh? Nice. Terracotta roofs. It's, it's different to Greece. Yeah, I love it. Very different but similar at the same time. Yeah. I feel like our luck is going to run out soon. Can't be this sustainable the whole way. What? What's happening? So yeah, the, I'm... the wind has gone from a 90 and then to a 60 and every time we turn that 10 degrees it stays on that 60, 50 to 60. It's on a 40 right now. Yeah, because we're like round, we're rounding the island so we're moving. Yeah, we've just been rounding the island the whole time. The wind's just been following us every every turn, which has been perfect. But because we've got light wind, there's no way it can be like this the whole way. Something's oh. in our favour if if it is. At least we've gotten like at least if we get halfway without having to turn the engine on, we should be okay. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Always running low on fuel. Always stressing about bloody trying to get somewhere. We can also see Mallorca in the background over there. It's only like a half day sail away from the closest point of yeah, Menorca, which is pretty cool. So we don't have far to go. And then it's like a full day, like nine to 10 hours maximum, um, unless we go really, really slow to Ibiza. And then from there to the closest point on the mainland of Spain is only another day. So no overnight passages for a while, which is great even though the practice is good, but. Sail back out. This one back out, we should be good. You ripper. We don't have to go far, so you can you can deal with chill conditions. Hey, you can just enjoy it instead of feeling like, oh my god, it's going to take us double. Like instead of half a day, it's going to take a full day to get there. It's like, ah, oh, it's only six or seven nautical miles yeah, away. Of one hour, it's 
two hours. Yeah, which it doesn't not, make a huge difference. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice little cozy cell. Yeah, the knots, the knots matter. The half a knot to a knot matters when you're sailing all day. Definitely not when it's only up the road a bit. All right, we're getting pretty close to our anchorage. It is going to be a tight fit in here. It is lines ashore and I don't know. It's supposed to be really nice, but we'll soon find out what it's actually like. But yeah, we're coming coming in hot. Hey. I forgot it was lines ashore. Yeah. I got one line set up. Our anchorage was nearby the historic town of Suitadella on the northwest coast of Menorca. It's the largest town after the capital, Mahon. The town has a rich history dating back to the Roman era, and it was the capital of Menorca until the 18th century when the British moved the capital to Mahon. We're just saying, this reminds us of Bonifacio in France coming in to like the long kind of canal, I guess, but um, not with the steep cliffs and everything. Hopefully a lot cheaper. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Yeah, probably. I think it will be. My home was pretty cheap, so surely here will be too. But, but France was like not too expensive, but Bonifacio was just kind of next level. Yeah. Look at this place. This is really cute. The House of Bridge, it almost looks like we're in Venice. How pretty! Like you get a nice ride back down, but it's always a hard yakker up. Suitadella <laughs> is home to several notable landmarks, including the Cathedral of Menorca, which was built in the 13th century. We picked the fanciest restaurant in all of No, the best rated. Best rated, yeah. yeah. It better be up at six. Lots of tapas to pick from. This is the roof, and it's, you can get red or white. We haven't tried white, have we? No. Nah. Maybe we can give that a go. I don't know if we'll like it. But it's kind of like um, mulled wine, but cold. So not that different to sangria, but it has more like spices and cinnamon kind of to it. Bye bye, Spitadella. We will see you tomorrow, maybe.